Give it some muscle and some might Cause if you're strong you must be right Maybe I should back away I think you like it that way I will let you know the time My resolve has passed its time Go ahead and place your bets But you ain't seen nothing yet Well, day two is done and dusted and uh, we got this window completely finished. It's all bricked in and I can already tell it's much more soundproof. I couldn't hear Dean talking to me on the other side of the wall once he was finished. Uh, we didn't get as far with the other window as I would have liked. It almost looks the same as it did yesterday if you don't look closely. But we've chipped out all of the, um, the half bricks on the edges and that was once again a very big job. So this is ready for being bricked tomorrow and we hope to do the whole thing in that one day. Probably the most important thing that came out of today is that the structural engineer came out, he inspected the building, we discussed our plans and it looks like we can go ahead with everything we were hoping to do. We do have to build a, a load bearing wall in, in the middle of this building to um, support the trusses and we have to do a little bit of extra framework in the ceiling above, um, but it's all good. Now I won't tell you exactly what he told us to do because every project is different and you need to get your own structural engineer to inspect your building. I wouldn't want to tell you what we're going to be doing and have you then go and copy that because uh, it may not work for your building and it could be a potentially dangerous situation. But the good news is we can go ahead with our plans and um, full steam ahead. I mentioned in the first video that I'm constructing this studio like a room inside a room and neither room is supposed to touch the other. Now if you're wondering why that's so important, I'll give you a little demonstration. Imagine this piece of wood is uh, part of the inner room. Now if, if sound hits this, it vibrates to an extent and resonates. This would be the outside room. Now it's connected to the whole ceiling and you can, you can hear how that resonates the whole building, right? So as long as these two are kept separate, if this, is a, if this represents the, the, um, the, the, the joist of the inner room, it, it creates a really good sound barrier. If however this touches that one even slightly, like this, it causes the whole room to vibrate. It's not as loud as if we hit it right here. but it's enough to, to really lose a lot of the soundproofing effect that we're trying to achieve. So that's why we go to such an extent to try and make sure that the inner room and the outer room don't touch and they're completely decoupled.